Mr. Bodnar, the Ukrainian counteroffensive in the recent months has been gaining momentum. What's the recent updates from the ground? So in our case, we continue our uh, war for independence, and uh, our main task is to liberate our territories. Key goal is to uh, take the border of 1991 and uh, stand strong on our soil and create the conditions for the security situation in future in the region. That's our main goal, and uh, actually we need practical support. So this exhibition is also one of the sites of practical support which we need for continuation of war and uh, victory in the battlefield. As you see now, the Ukrainian army is pushing Russians back. They are now trying to uh, use different terroristic methods, like striking civilian infrastructure, striking different cities. So it also creates a very uh, pressing moment on Ukrainian society. But nevertheless, Ukrainians are ready to that. And even yesterday's pictures from Kyiv and other cities, which are without the light, but creating a very strong spirit of resistance and even more making people more angry and more decisive. Thank you. And so recently about the grain deal, mm -hmm. Ukraine has been saying that Russia is holding the ships back and you know stopping the deal from functioning. What's the recent updates on no, that? It, it's a little bit different. So the inspection teams does not work properly well. So we have a capacity to work uh, in much more larger scale, but now the Russians are limiting it. May most probably they would like to gain some uh, additional uh, benefits from uh, from this grain deal. So we are in good communication with our partners, uh, Turkish Republic, Turkish Republic, and we are also communicating with UN, trying to resolve this issue because it's becoming more and more loud. And the biggest problem is that people are suffering because it's our responsibility, Ukraine and Turkey, to promote uh, to pr propose our products to the world markets. Uh, and some some grain which is being proceeded in Turkey is also going to the. Uh, foreign markets in the form of flavor, uh, pasta and other things, which world badly need. So uh, that's why it's not only to sell from Ukraine, but also to provide world with a, uh, food security, normal food security, and create an opportunities not to feel hunger. That's also our responsibility. We hope that this deal will be prolonged, and we will also uh, work for the conditions uh, to be settled uh, in the nearest days, hopefully. Thank you. And finally, about the prisoner swaps that have happened mm -hmm. recently, can we ex expect any more of these to happen? So this process is being continued almost every week, and uh, we have some liberated persons, a couple of hundreds for recent weeks from uh, on, on the border between Ukraine and, uh, uh, and Russia, actually. But uh, with the assistance of Turkey, we have liberated more than 215 uh, soldiers from, from the Russian prison. Now five of them stay here in Turkey, according to the uh, agreements reached with the uh, aggressor state. But the process is also being continued and the negotiations have never stopped. But now the different conditions are, uh, let's say, being put on in the field and we are now working on, on creating new opportunities for exchange because we know that uh, some thousands of Ukrainian uh, in, citizens are still in the captivity and we need to work properly well to either exchange them and to look for the other options, how to liberate them. Yes, and uh, can you, you talked about the practice, pra practical support that you need. Can you talk more about like the details of this practical assistance that you require at the moment? So the first of all, what we need is the uh, anti-aircraft systems and the anti-drone system. We're now uh, working uh, with our all partners and we are looking here for the opportunities also to defend our civilian infrastructure in cities from the, the terrorist attacks which Russia continue to provide. Uh, secondly, we need to uh, strengthen our uh, army possibilities with the uh, advancing forces like uh, heavy equipment, artillery and then something like that. So it's also very important. But also uh, we need to continue uh, strength to prepare for the winter because the winter time is coming and different sophisticated methods of uh, preserving uh, heating, uh, buying some uniforms, buying some uh, winter equipment is also one of the key priorities for, for us today and we are working on that, particularly in this exhibition. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you very Bodnar. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.